<laughs> hey guys. Just gonna move the microphone a little bit closer for you. ASMR people out there. Hi guys. Um welcome to Monday's Coffee Time with Cobra. It's a little bit later than normal. Uh that's mostly because uh I have been busy all freaking day. In fact, there's my house keys. I've literally just got home, finished making dinner. And then I realized, egads, I hadn't made my coffee time with COVID video. So I'm making it now at like almost 10 o'clock at night. And uh, I will upload it immediately. So no editing, no no funky stuff or anything. Uh, let me go back on the previous videos and uh, check if there's any comments. I don't think there is. <laughs> no one ever really comments on my videos. And that's fine. You don't have to. Yeah. There's no law stating that you have to comment on my videos. Uh, let's see, with my Mando armor update video. Let's close that. Oh, well, nope. We've got a comment from Pam, Pam Pruden, loving the Mando videos, XO, XO, XO. Thank you for that, it's incredibly kind of you. Um, I have been recently doing a lot more um, content about my cosplay armor in fact the printer has just finished uh, uh one of the uh, other halves of the gauntlet so i'm going to try my magnet egg idea i do have uh, a velcro strip system uh, uh as a backup as well as a new flight suit coming in the royal navy suit that i have is good however it clashes color wise with what i want to choose for the armor so I have found an old army surplus or Air, Royal, Air, uh, Royal Air Force surplus flight suit. So it's an actual flight suit, kind of like what they used for, for Boba Fett. And so I will be able to use that uh, and Velcro strip along the legs and uh, along the arms, uh, across the chest and uh, across the, uh, the back. So I'll be able to put the uh, armor on and take the armor off. Uh, a lot more easier than what I had planned. So that's made my life so much more easier. Uh, I did find a guy uh, based here in Long Sutton in England who does um, replica props. Um, and he's got uh, uh, the molds for an EE3, which is what Boba Fett had, an EE3 carbine. Uh, and he's also got um, some other star wars weapons so i'm going to take a look what he's got in stock and um or look at uh, maybe going down a toy aisle or two or maybe jumping up on ebay uh, i do have a um a blast a couple of i've got a couple of weapon uh, stl files it's just my 3d printers are not big enough to print them all in one great big go and I mean, it's taken me almost a week just to get a gauntlet done. Um, so heavens above if, if how long it will take me to get an actual gun done. Uh, so yeah, that kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, I've been incredibly busy today, unfortunately. Uh, I've had no time to get, you know, anything really done. I've mostly been doing adult stuff, you know, humaning and, and various other things. And that's never fun. So, <laughs> I say it's never fun, but the truth is, it's never fun. Uh, so, yeah. Hmm. And I've got me uh, my little sweet treat. These are uh, a rip-off of a uh, Snickers bar. So, or a marathon, as it used to be called, and still is cold in this brain. That's how old I am. Uh, now... Uh, a lot of people have asked me um, on Discord and a few other places, especially on the RPF forums as well, because I've been posting over there as well. Some people, some of you guys have been subscribing to me here on YouTube. Thank you for that. I greatly appreciate that. Um, and some of them have asked me uh, how I do certain things, and I'm going to go into more detail. Um, I'm going to go into a lot more detail on those specific um, things in question. Let me just fix my camera, zoom, there we go. Um, and so I'll be going into more detail uh, on how I do 
specific things, most notably the um, uh, replacement of the target finder um, on the helmet because uh, I, I like it, but it's too too fat. It's too Boba Fett. Um, I want, I mean, I'm Von Karkrell. I'm not Django Fett. I'm not Boba Fett. I'm Von Karkrell. I, I, I am who I am. Um, and so I'm a firm believer that, you know, Mandos should go the wrong way. Yeah. You know? And, um, so that's what I'm doing. And, uh, a lot of people want to know why I chose Polynesian sharks as my, um, inspiration. Well, I'm a big fan of Carcaradons, which is a 40k Space Marines chapter, um, who are in the outer, what would be considered the outer rim, because that's where I'm basing my Mando. Uh, in 40k universe, they are a fleet-based chapter that prefer close combat. So chain swords, chain blades, um, knives, power swords, lightning claws, things of that nature. And um, yeah, they, they the Carcaradons are, are, I like the lore about the Carcaradons. There's really not been that much of in the way of stories about the Carcaradons, which kind of sucks, because I really would like to know a little bit more about them, um, or at least have them more involved in some other stories, you know, even if they're just backdrop, you know, like a Carcaradons fleet vessel shows up to help out an Ultramarines chapter or something, you know, things of that nature. Um, I just like the, the, again, the lore, the fact that uh, um, they have a genetic defect where their skin pigmentation is literally pure white. Not like white person white. I mean like pure albino white. Their uh, pupa of their eyes are completely black. So they, they don't have individual iris colors. They're all black. Every single one of them are just black. Like a shark's. Um, which again, I like. Uh, and the fact that they fa uh, file their, their teeth down to shark fangs as well. Love that. I just, I love everything about the Carcaradons. Um, it just, it sucks that I can't find decent STL files of Carcaradon shoulder pads, things of that nature. Otherwise, I would customize, I, w I would stop painting my soul drinkers and convert them all over to Carcaradons. Um, but at the time you guys picked, uh, when I did my painting streams, you guys picked uh, the, the, uh, uh, um, the soul drinkers and so that's who they are that's what my space marine chapter is they're, they're the, the new foundation new founding uh, soul drinkers which means they are primaris unfortunately not a fan of primaris um the whole story arc of the primaris just not a fan um <laughs> and well i just got asked a really important question by uh someone so i'm gonna answer that question so question from comfy num 52 why do you do what you do? Uh, therapy. Um, one, I want to leave the world a better place than it was when I came in. Uh, two, uh, I have knowledge in my head that if me just spurting said knowledge out to the camera um, helps someone. If it jogs someone who, who's uh, got writer's block or painter's block or just lack any kind of creativity and just need a swift kick in the ass you know i hope i help um i find joy in it i find passion i find pleasure in it um i find the fact that i can choose to create rather than destroy um so from a very young age from a very young age all i ever saw was destruction and Without going into too much detail, in too much detail, uh, my family um, did construction as well as demolition, um, and then they had a side hustle um, working in a salvage yard. So I'd watch fully functioning vehicles that just needed minor maintenance, minor repair, minor whatever, come rolling in, and then just get tore apart, and it broke my heart because I still still right now i still believe it i still believe that everything has a soul from a a mobile phone to an electric fan to 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 someone took the time to design and build 
and, and, and create. They put a little piece of them in it. Blood, sweat, tears, ingenuity, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. They put something in. They're invested. Not just financially. They're invested in said item, microphone, light, monitor, whatever. And so seeing someone's creation get destroyed hurt me. I, I, I used to cry sometimes when I'd watch a really beautiful car, beautiful cars, uh, 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 just get crushed or just get torn apart in an hour. Literally just watch a whole bunch of mechanics go over this car like ants and then nothing but a bare shell left. And then watch my dad lift it up with a forklift. This is a reminder. And take medication. There you go. Got to take my meds now. This is a reminder. Take medication. And um, just put it up on a shelf, or take it off to the shredder, or take it off to the crusher, and it's gone. It's gone. The line workers that built that vehicle, the owners that owned that vehicle and cared about it and put love and compassion into that vehicle and maintenance and 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 a lot of people think I'm 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 a bit wackadoodle, um, especially in the British Army <laughs> when I used to sit there and talk to my tank, <laughs> Jezebel. I would sit there and talk to her for car hours. Hours. I was just sitting and having a conversation with her. You know, people are like, "Are you all right?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fine." Just having an argument with the wife, the work, the work wife. <laughs> That's what I used to call her, the work wife. And um, so I'm tired. I'm I'm tired. I like seeing the Bonington Tank Museum restoring tanks. You know, and and bringing them back. Tank Tank Fest. I love Tank Fest. I think it's a wonderful idea. It helps out the charity. It helps out the fans. It, tanks get to stretch their tracks and and strut their stuff and say, look at me, ain't I a sexy bitch? You know? Uh, <laughs> same as car shows. Um, I hate static car shows. And what I mean by that is like coffee and, coffee and cars or, or cake and octane or whatever you want to call it. Where they show up with these beautiful elaborate cars, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, uh, 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 fucking uh, 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 Penteras, and and, and 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 Cobras, and Mustangs, and Corvettes, and and they look beautiful, but then they just park them, and they become pseudo lawn art. Cars are meant to be driven. Sorry, they are. Uh, again, everyone keeps asking me. Because um, I do have my driver's license. I, 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 I just don't own a car. And the reason why I don't own a car is because it's just not, not worth it. It's just not worth it. There's so much tax without representation. That's not even funny. MOT, VAT, uh, insurance, then ULEZ. And I'm sorry, either... E either Get rid of ULEZ, which it shouldn't fucking exist in the first place. That's complete overreach by Sadiq Cunt. I'm sorry, it is. It's complete overreach by Sadiq Cunt. Um, complete overreach. Someone needs to walk up and punch him in his big fucking nose. His nose is bigger than mine. And I've got Jewish in my blood, so that should fucking tell you how big my nose is. Alright, but his nose is fucking huge. If he had a coke addiction, brute... The, the fucking... Ugh. If he had a cocaine addiction, I swear, I fucking swear, Mexico's GDP would triple. South America's GDP would triple. So, I do what I do, because one, I love it. Two, I enjoy doing it. Three, I hope I help people. Four, I want to put more into the world than what's being taken out. And five, I use it as a form of therapy. There are times I will sit here 
and record a video. Two, three, four. Longest I've recorded, I think, was like five hours. Yeah, a five-hour video. And I just poured everything out. My thoughts, my feelings, my passions, my hatreds, everything. I, I, I was a sniveling wreck. I was emotionally exposed. I was numb. I was angry. I was, you name it. I, and I watched it back. I watched the entire five-hour video back the next day. And then I looked in the mirror and I said, do you feel better, Dan? And I genuinely thought, yes, I do. And I came back and I deleted the video. Because to me, it's therapy. This is what I'm doing. Therapy. Because I'm getting these things out of my head. And the fact that some of you people watch this blows my fucking mind. Thank you, though. Seriously, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing and all that fun stuff. Thank you. And thank you for commenting. Please comment. If you comment on this Coffee Time with Cobra, okay, or ask me a question, I will answer that question in the next Coffee Time with Cobra, which will be every Monday. Okay, so next Monday, okay, there'll be another Coffee Time with Cobra. So you've got all the time in the world to ask me a question. Okay, all the time in the world. Um, a lot of people keep asking me, what's going on um why no streams um guys realistically the reason why there's been no streams is because i'm so busy getting things done here in real life i'm not even joking um i'm struggling with my depression i am struggling with my uh, anger issues i am struggling with a whole bunch of different things um that i don't talk about unless it's in passing like this I don't sit down and, and do a woe is me stream. That's not my that's not my bag. Okay? That works for someone like Hassan. That works for a that works for a, a commie little coward like him, but it don't work for me. Hassan Piker. Wanker. If I'm ever in a fucking if I'm even in the same state as him. You have no idea how mad he makes me just the fact he's still breathing he's the biggest fucking con artist and grifter in the universe wears a fucking eat the rich t-shirt and lives in a three million dollar mansion a three million dollar apartment not a house not a mansion an apartment because it's that fucking stupid. He's probably got more feminine products in his fucking hair and his fucking fake ass little piece of shit fucking five o'clock shadow he calls a fucking beard. He's probably a cuck as well. Anyway, enough of him. So... And that's my opinion, by the way. It's what I think. So, yeah, I've been very busy. <laughs> Getting the armor done. Um, doing school. I'm, I'm, I'm doing cyber security. And a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, everyone keeps asking me, you know, um, you know, like I said, why haven't I been streaming? Guys, I just don't have enough time. I just don't have enough time. And when I do have enough time to string, I try. I genuinely do try. But the internet that I have at this residence is a joke. An absolute joke. It'll cut out on me maybe two, three hours a day. Just stop working. And I have to go downstairs and reboot the router about 20 times. For it to finally kick in, and I've constant, I've, I've spoken to my landlord. He goes, "Well, I'll talk to Virgin Media. Virgin Media ain't gonna do shit. They say that this is business class. Yet when I see that their competitors have just finished laying fiber optic lines, I 
I may have to circumvent my landlord and contact an ISP directly and have them install the internet in my name for me and just for me. Again, because I work from home. Not just YouTube and whatnot. I also do have a job doing cybersecurity. It's a paid training, basically. Um, but you get the, you get the drift. So yeah, that's what I do, and it sucks. <laughs> uh, I have no social life <laughs> whatsoever. Um, plus the fact I don't like being around large groups of people. I don't call it performance anxiety because you know, I've done some stand-up comedy stuff, you know, at the Purple Turtle here in Reading. It was about sixty. 70 people maybe 100 wasn't intimidated at all but that was about it was just after lockdown so when I look back on that I'm terrified but in the moment I was fine I was just telling jokes you know like what's the difference between a feminist and a, and a pencil you know one's got a point the other one doesn't just stuff like that, you know. Um, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> that upset a lot of people, but it got a lot of people to laugh too. And, um, yeah, it's just, like I said, guys, it's just, I do this for fun. So thank you for the question there, Comfy. Uh, 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 Comfy52, thank you for the question. I greatly appreciate that. She asked me that on Discord, so... Uh, anyway, guys, uh, coffee is almost done, so I'm going to end this video here at the 22-minute mark. It's been going on for a while, and I don't want to bore you guys. But anyway, thank you, and I will see you all t uh, when I release the next content. I think it's scheduled to go up tomorrow or Wednesday. Anyway, uh, it's another Mando Armor update. Hopefully, I will be going live here Friday. Friday, I have nothing going on. No school. No nothing, no work, no, 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 no nothing. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So Friday, <clears throat> I will try to go live either here on YouTube or over on Twitch. Follow me on the Discord. Link will be in the, in the, in the description of the video down below. Uh, follow me on the Discord. I will post live. I might even be at Kick because I've got a Kick account now. So it may be at Kick, it may be at Twitch, it may be at YouTube. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys. I'm going to end this stream, uh, this video with a stay safe, have fun, keep sure flying, keep your enemies dying. Trouble Commander is out. And I'll see you sexy bastards in the next one.